Planet X Explained um, by Mark Hazelwood from the Planet X team. <coughs> Excuse me. It is now November and we all have a cold, so excuse me for coughing. And uh, there you have it, Mark Hazelwood, uh, showing you where to find Planet X in the encyclopedia. That was a very, very popular show. And uh, so many people were present and uh, just shared the information. And uh, that show, you could still download it from modernmysteries.tv. The Planet X show is still available for download. Exciting young man. And uh, we are very grateful for him to clarify things. There's Mr. Nichols again in his interview where we discussed uh, what his take was on this crop circle here that came in in 2002. And so we kicked that around. It's just amazing what we can come up with in one year. Here's the Azebo message crop circle. Akdan Akdagan, the uh, director of the UFO Museum in Istanbul, Turkey, Justin Wright is doing the interview. Here are we showed you five frames of a UFO next to the World Trade Center. Um, I don't know which one of the um, speakers uh, brought that, but, but we thought it would be interesting. Uh, it was only f uh, five frames. And then this is a UFO shooting down the meteorite over Turkey. And uh, this was captured on video and analyzed by both Russians and the Turkish government. So we were really pleased to have that information. And again, this show is also still available for download. And um, the webpage you see goes directly to Istanbul, Turkey www.seriousufo.org and that's where you can find that. This is Dr. James McKinney, uh, the planetary scientist that works with Planet X, how it affects us or could. Uh, some spots, he's one of the leading experts on the Planet X. Here is Caitlin and Sean. We were discussed taken after it had aired and gave our opinion on what we got out of the TV series, this will re-air because Taken was re-aired for the second time. Laurie Boxer, our poet, and there she dedicated a poem to Art Bell. Nick Beijing from Heart the Heart Project. Um, in Alaska, David Icke, that so many of you are familiar with. Here we are in the studio, all excited, trying to bring you more stories that we collected on the road. This is Donald, and uh, I went into him accidentally. He guarded the hangar during the Cuban Missile Crisis that the hangar had UFOs over it and that prevented them from launching those nuclear missiles. Um, Dr. Lee from China, this interview was done in Spanish. Um, he's the head of the UFO research team in Beijing, China. And there he was telling the story of the flying man. That show is still available download and he was just a delight and uh, again this was a bilingual show with a translator. Bob White was sitting in the office and that was part of the actually there was 
the museum show where we took you all over the museum. And these are displays from the museum in Missouri. Animal psychic Donna Harris and Laura Johnson. Uh, in the meantime, everything Donna said about the dog took place. This is Janine in Austin showing off her beautiful garden that she planted and explaining the flowers and everything to us. Back to Donna Harris and talking about uh, Buford the cat and um, we really enjoyed her Janine's garden and uh, flowers and plants and this should have said Happy New Year but I guess it disappeared so Happy New Year to you. She was so careful to explain every little thing there, like that flower. Just awesome, I thought. Janine in Austin. Now we are in Colorado. I still had hair then. Marion, president of the um, Vegetarian Society of Colorado, and her mate Tom. There we are explaining how come uh, people are vegetarians. Of vegans. This is international. Uh, CK came from Europe and brought this footage from Schloss Neuschwanstein. And we took you there. We took you to castles and teepees. And the vestlessness on the bottom of the screen that came because. It was done in PAL format, and this castle comes from Germany. This is now, this is in Roseland, Washington. The young lady at the cafe tells about her encounters, and back to King Ludwig we go. The year was as frantic and not unorganized, but as frantic as our clips. It goes from one to another. Now we are in slavery days with Kanashibushan sharing a luck that she inherited that one of her family members brought out of slavery. And we thanked her for having shared that with us. And. Uh, we back in Europe in the Alps. Uh, our reporter at large, CK. These are lava beds in Washington State. And we are now on the road. In some places, you will be in three states at the same time. Well, first we stop at King Ludwig's again, I'm assuming. At Neuschwanstein. This is the bridge outside of Hanford nuclear plants. Uh, and then it goes from there again to surreal, a surreal setting. Uh, CK, when she came here, we went to Ocean Shores. And uh, in the meantime, she has graduated. Now we are in the teepees at the Wainuchi River. And uh, hopefully yeah, they will not uh, end up in a flood. This is the rainforest of Washington State. You are inside of a tree. And that's where we showed you how majestic this old tree is. I believe it is 1,200 plus years old. Uh, CK took you to the rainforest, and from that came the show Bang Bang, You're Dead. And uh, you can even see the bugs inside of the tree. And we so thank her for this unusual shot here. In uh, the summer of 2003, early in the evening, I believe, uh, David Moore 
and Steve K went to the wing first to do all of that. This is the TP at the Vanucci. When you look up, you just see the sky. And uh, it's a very spiritual place also. Back to the trees of the rainforest of Washington State. How peaceful. This is Tavanucci. We took it to the river. And the fence. It was a year of paradox. It was either very peaceful or not. And it went from one extreme to another. Lot of, lots of jobs in life. We lost friends. Martha Barnhill. Lena found. Um, actually, too many to name. So we want to memorize them. And uh, wish them well on their journey. This need, needs no explanation. That was the show Bang Bang Your Dad. Banucci Valley between Montreseno, Washington, and the Banucci Dam. A lot of sadness. Back to Ocean Shores we went. And now we're going on the road, Sean Yanke, the RV. We took off and drove from Washington State to Missouri. We're going to take you on a quick trip here. This is at the Wanucci, Caitlin, CK, and uh, we're going to take you right along on these trips that we took in search of the prayer. Paranormal. This is Randy Shaw right here, the friend that wrote the music for our show today. So now here we go, on the road. Caitlin relating where we've been. These are the truckers in Crackerville, Montana, that gave us hints on how to drive as four wheelers. <laughs> Here we have the first buffalo burger of the, of the journey. There were many more after that. A peace pipe on a crow reservation. This is the Cheyenne reservation. And uh, her name is Rose. This is an establishment in right outside the Sturgis. I don't remember where. No, I'm sorry, I was mistaken. This is Wall Drug Store in South in Wall, South Dakota. And uh, here you are in Idaho. 